Beside one fortress, there's another fortress. Gaul Cricket Club. This is the, one of the grounds where Sri Lanka has basically been unbeatable. They have had one of the most impressive test records at any venue. So this ground, as I can show you, is just beautifully located. The backdrop of golf fort behind there, but just what a backdrop for a cricket stadium. And uh, this ground is quite special to me because this is where Brian Lara had one of his epic battles with Murray Lutheran, and when he made one centit, and that was in 2001. Uh, in the intervening years, uh, Goal Stadium was completely destroyed by the tsunami in 2004. And it came back and uh, they played a test against England in 2008. And ever since, uh, Sri Lanka have had a, a very strong record. And they continue to be, this wicket continues to be a very spin friendly wicket. The other thing that, uh, two other important facts to me, are this is where Chris Gale made his 333 runs uh, and West Indies uh, drew that test match. Again, it's always amazing to me when the West Indies over the last 30 years have managed to draw a test match. But also that uh, this is the ground that Andre Russell played his sole test match for the West Indies. Not a very impressive performance, but because he's become quite the franchise playing in cricket, uh, it is of note to say this is the only ground that he has played a test match on. And here, it's been a real treat to visit this cricket ground. I will be forever happy to know that I've been here. It's such a privilege to be so close to the field here. And uh, up here, that's the Players' Pavilion, and that's the stand. And that's where the commentators are. Not very comfortable, but my word, just check that out. Look at that. That is your backdrop. If you're a cricket fan like me, I can't begin to tell you how great this feels. There's a very emotional resonance of being in a cricket venue where so many momentous games have happened here. Uh, so many great victories for the Sri Lankan team. And also this is where Shane Warren took his 500th test wicket uh, when he was on road to uh, taking over Courtney Walsh as the leading wicket taker and his main rival, Mira Lutheran, who eventually took him over and took 800 test wickets. Let's take a look at the scoreboard here. So anytime the commentary team is referring to the scoreboard, it's right over here. And this is quite something. And a, another YouTuber? Yes, sir. Uh, You're from India, are you? I am in Canada, but from Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, really? So I, I'm doing a little bit on cricket here too. And uh, you are? Uh, my, myself, uh, Harry uh, Shergill, I am from India. Right. And uh, we, we do play cricket uh, and we do have our Indian uh, cricket players. We are happy to meet him from <laughs> yes. Indies uh, in a common place, Sri Lanka. Yeah, exactly. That to a historical uh, stadium, uh, golf. Uh, because in, even India have uh, many uh, historic games and uh, yes. uh, they have played a lot of games here. You guys have been uh, taking on Sri Lanka and beating them in Goa. Yes, yes. You could right. never beat India. Uh, Sri Lanka always used to beat India in Goa. Not anymore. Yes, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. But uh, the other thing too is for you in India, uh, a lot of the Trinidadians are in your IPL. Yes, true. Because Kieran Pollard. Yeah, we, because we feel West Indies players are the, uh, the coolest and the happiest players ever. Uh, because they, they don't play cricket as a cricket. Yeah. They enjoy cricket. Yes. So we love playing cricket. I, I met uh, 
Puran. Yes. Uh, once. Uh, Another Trinidadian. Yeah, because I'm from Punjab. <laughs> right. So he used to play for franchisee before uh, yep. Kings Eleven Punjab. Yes. So I got an opportunity to meet him once. Right. So he's a great, great guy. He's, great fan guy. he's fantastic. Yes. You know when you when you watch a style of cricket the West Indian play, yeah. you know like I look at a player like Ishan Kishan now. Yeah. Uh, you know his style is incredible, isn't true, it? True. So, you know, it's it's funny funny to see how the West Indians have influenced the style true, true. of the uh, of the cricket. I go back to 1986 when India established the Pace Foundation in Chennai. Yes. And you know, look at it. 37 years later, yes. India has one of the best pace bowling attacks on the planet. Yes, <laughs> I think. Uh, Mohammad Shami is is incredible. Yeah. And Bumrah. Bumrah. We and, have Shiraz growing up. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I think Umran Malik yes. is not yet in, but I think he will be one of the speedsters yes. in the future. Right. I think uh, I personally feel it's, it's a blessing by Virat Kohli. I think he changed the way uh, bowling attack we have now. Yes. Uh, thanks to everyone, actually, right. not only to Virat Kohli, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, you, you know, look at India. India was fe feeling a four-man pace man attack. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. very West Indian. Yeah. Anyhow, sir, let's uh, let me let you get on with your video. And this has been a lot of fun chatting cricket with you. Same here. Yeah. Same here. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you so that's much. That's wonderful. I get to enjoy a cup of tea here in the pavilion. Check it out here. And the final session of play will be on after I have this. <laughs> so after having my tea here, it was what a treat. I can't complain. They're very kind to let me in and just on the way out, uh, this is where the player's gym is. That's called the exit here. Not quite how the batsmen uh, leave the ground, but you get the idea. Oh, and we have a little bit of a wall of fame here. Look at that. You got uh, Slinga Malinga. You got uh, Rajita. Look at this. Dananjaya. This has been such a treat. So there you have it. Call Cricket Stadium. One of the meccas of cricket, with most probably one of the seat, most scenic grounds in the world. And you got to enjoy that with me. Play more cricket. Taste the world.